Hello and welcome to another episode of Utopia Restorations. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Will and this is Aloy, my Land Rover Series 3 and we're going to be having a look at some of the things that we're going to be doing to it in the future and some of the plans for it. So what I'm going to Isn't she pretty? This was something quite cool. I managed to find the original grill. So I didn't actually have this with it, but I managed to find it when I do something cool on the weight plate and got a National Trust badge. So I am going to try using that for parking. Before we get started, as always, please consider subscribing. Massively helps our channel out, helps us with our builds like the Series 3, the E30, and the Mustang that's not here. Also, make sure you check out the merch. It's not just our logo on things. We spent hours designing these and we've got loads of drops and loads of new things coming out. So make sure you check that out down below. If you are enjoying the video, drop a like, drop a comment. What do you think? What should I be doing? Is this correct or is this completely wrong? But yeah, enjoy the video. But first, before I take you for a walk around and show you some of the things and the future plans that we've got for her, there is a bit of a story and a bit of a background to getting her here and moving to the new place because when it was time to move and needed to drive this down the road to the new location, she didn't want to do it. Just trying to get the running going correctly, having a bit of a bit of an issue, bit of a flat spot, bit choppy, bit smoky. So trying to get Aloy happy, hopefully drive her to uh, somewhere else where she can go into storage for a bit as well, particularly with a lovely new Exmoor roof. I want to be keeping that beautiful. So as you can see in here, she's not running well, she's not happy. This was actually a second car that I used and as you can see here on Christmas, I decided to treat her to a brand new weather. As you can see, running much better for the tune-up than it is with a little tune-up. As you've just seen, we've now got the lovely new Weber carb in and the brand new Lucas batteries, which are making a difference, fully disconnect them every time. So she is a little happier. Still a little choppy, so there are some things I do want to do. I do want to check the tolerances on the valves and things like that, make sure it's okay, and then do a full service because she deserves it. it needs all the oils, rad, engine, diffs, gearbox, transfer box, rear diffs, all that's going to get sorted. We do have a binding brake somewhere. So I want to get that done. And then hopefully she'll be summer ready. But this summer, I do have a slightly different plan for her, and that does involve the back and some of the things behind it. So this doesn't look like a lot, but this is some of the things that are going to be making more of a permanent feature in the back here. So as you can see, I've got a bench here. These some of this stuff needs to be moved out for me to give you a bit of a better explanation. But I'm thinking not like camper vibes, but like expedition day camper lanes and lunching if that makes sense. So all very well being said, but what do I actually mean? So here's a bit of a picture of the back of the Land Rover, and I'm just going to show you what I mean and what I actually want to do. So on, let's go for some yellow. On this side, what I'm thinking is following the contour line, I'm gonna do a bit of like a shelf. It's gonna come out about this height, be a table that's going to go to the front end and to the back. Similar, you'll see a lot of this in camper conversions that people do. But what I am thinking is because you've got this window here, you can then roll it up and use it from both sides. So this will sort of be ply, then an open-ended front, if that makes any sense, with bungee cords across it. We'll just have to bear with the drawing for one second. Then on this side, as you saw in the back there, there is a bench that is going to be going in. So we're going for a bench bow here. And it sort of reminds me of like art attack or something. Mm -hmm. Drawing as they're doing it. So bench is going to go in here, but then behind it, and I'm thinking maybe a small storage section. Just something little and easy, just for it to fit in. So, and then also going to be reupholstering this. So you're making that like some cool colour. And this is going to be the wood that's going to go behind in that area there. We're also going to have back here some of the boxes. So I've got a very nice wicker box, which is that one that you've just seen, which I think is going to go here. There's nice leather straps, so that's going to be the wicker box there, and then on the other side, more of the military boxes. So, we do have the caps for these, but that's where the military ones going to go. 
that makes any sense. I'll show you a better picture. As promised, here's the best picture with the best design. You could never tell that I did graphics GCSE. But you can see sort of new fairy lights can be going in, some of the boxes, and a bit of a vague idea. But I think it's easy to draw this, but it's better to see what it really looks like in real life. And if you haven't seen before, this is our beautiful Exmoor trim fitted for radio canvas. Here you go, all the military extras in khaki, which is slightly different colour to the last canvas, but it's definitely the original. It makes it look a bit more military. If you haven't seen this, there's a full installation video up here, so make sure you go check that out. So now that all those random extras are out, I am going to give it a bit of a clean and tidy up, because as you can see, there's a bit of rubbish from where she's been sat with the old roof. Going to get that cleaned up and then show you the new seat and show you some plans with that. It's not going to be like a passenger seat and I don't want to drill it in. A lot of things that I do want to make, I want them to be removable. So we've got a lot of fixings here that I'm hoping to utilise, make brackets for, for things to go in. And that is the same for the seat. I don't want it to be a permanent passenger seat, but maybe it could double up as one in the future. I don't know. I'm not really willing to drill into it, but equally if it happens to line up some holes, I may utilise that. First, let's give it a bit of a clean. As you've probably just seen there, crawling around is doable. One of the things I really don't like is the check plate. Now, in all honesty, I'm not sure I want to remove it because I'm not sure what it's hiding, but it is either looking like a rubber mat or a floor mat or even possibly a wood interior, just something to make it a bit softer because when it's on your knees, it doesn't really hurt and it's just not comfortable to walk around. In. So what I'm gonna do now is maybe a bit of like a mock-up for you to show you what it's gonna look like. The seat's already, of course, in there, but I wanna get some of the boxes in place and maybe Use a bit of cardboard, a bit of CAD, you know, cardboard aided design to give you a bit of an idea of what that sort of unit is going to look like that I'm going to put in there. It will be a standalone unit, which will fit in. So potentially we may be looking at selling these in the future. So if you are interested in one, drop a comment here or drop me a message on Instagram. We can maybe have a look at that. They will sort of be small course length. So they will be able to fit in an 88 as well as they will be a similar size. Potentially use similar mounting brackets to the seats that are in a Land Rover. So here you go. Hope you enjoyed that cardboard aided design video. I know you're thinking, yes, I'm using a scraper. You can have a go at me in the comments. However, tomorrow I'm off to go do the Mustang. So I needed to pack a lot of the parts. And I don't want to take things out because I know I'm going to forget them. And it did work. So here it is. I'll show you why I sort of did it from this side because it was quite easy and flush. And this is what I want is to be able to roll up the side here to be able to cook and use it, which I think that's absolutely perfect for. Someone can sit inside and you can have a chat with them. What you need to go have a look at is from the inside angle from there see what it looks like and where we're going to put maybe some holes with the bungees going across so not so nice from this side because admittedly i did it from the other side but what i am thinking is potentially a hole here but definitely a hole in the front actually how this is set up with sort of two compartments could be quite good so i could have a small compartment here and a bigger compartment there and then maybe fit the stove in there rather than having a stove on its own. But I am actually quite happy with that size and shape. And from this side, although you're not going to be able to cook on it from here, I can actually still reach it sat down. So I think that's fabulous. Yes, don't get me wrong, doesn't look fabulous and this will not be the final template. But what I wanted to see is, would the idea work and was there any point in doing this? And yeah, I think it does. Just a small little unit, you can pop in, pop out. And in theory, if I get this correct, it will also fit in the Defender. I think I'm going to leave this one here for today. Pretty happy with sort of this initial plan and this initial layout. I think the templates definitely helped me understand it and know, yeah, I do think this is the way I want to go. I do want Aloy to be a bit of a country basher, you know, out on the weekends, taking her to the pub. And from here, there are some good lanes. So we'll be able to take her out, drive to there, eat some nice food, have a nice bit, enjoy the view and then drive back. So yeah, I think this is the direction I want to go. In the next video on Aloy, maybe a bit more mechanical, Maybe we'll be starting doing some woodwork on it, ready for the interior. But as always, if you've enjoyed this, as I mentioned earlier, drop a like, subscribe down below. I'll see you next week in the next video. Cheers.